Dad had gone to the grocery store early that morning. Me and him had done the newspaper route, and then he got up after his nap and went and got like Swedish fish and some popcorn because we were gonna have like a movie night. And then he went in the bathroom and he was coughing. And sound, I could like hear him throwing up and stuff and he came out with like a towel. And then he went in the kitchen. When I went up there, he was at the counter, holding onto the counter, and then he fell. His face was purple, foaming at the mouth. So at first, my first reaction was I went outside and I screamed. I don't know about it. I don't remember what I screamed, but then I came right back in, got on the phone with a, a dispatcher and started CPR. I was a little concerned, like if that was the last time I'd see my dad. The American Heart Association developed the CPR in the Schools program to train the next generation of lifesavers. The kits come with 10 mannequins, so you can train 10 to 20 students at a time. They come with AED trainers, they come with replacement face shields and replacement lungs. So it's an all-in-one kit that will be able to train several people at one time, and you can do it in one class period. The kids can actually put their hands on the mannequin and do the compressions and do the things that they've been taught or we've talked about. There will be more people that are educated, uh, more people that will, won't will just guess, they'll have the full you know, knowledge and the hands-on experience. I think that's so important is that hands-on experience that will be gained from it will help give confidence you know, to the kids uh, in the way that they respond. I saw Shelby pushing on the center of his chest, under his ribs, and she was singing a song, staying alive. I was so excited to hear that she had learned CPR in schools, because that is the key. She's a young person, she remembered what she was supposed to do. Her dad went down, he collapsed, she started compressions. She had her other sister run and call 911. She had the third sister run out and get another adult. So she knew exactly what to do. And that's why training young people is so important because they remember those things and they will act when the time comes. You know, she went right to work. You know, you hope that your students uh, would take those skills that they learned in the classroom and take them out with them for future use. Uh, I don't think uh, the result would have been good had she not reacted the way she did. Oh, it felt like forever. And some guy came behind me and, and then I asked him if he knew what he was doing and then he took over. It was just a big relief, like the world had been lifted off my shoulders. I wasn't surprised that she did what she did. I would just, made me even more proud of her that she did what she did, all of them. To say thank you isn't enough, you know, to do this film isn't enough. Um, it's just part of, I know it's part of me now and it's part of them and that's, that means a lot. So I uh, thank you, Shelby. Every day I'm, I'm pleased to be on the side of the dirt. So I'm, I'm living proof, you know, that it works. That's why it's important to have the donors that we have to fund the research, to develop training materials, to pass legislation like the high school training for graduation, for education, for public awareness. You're definitely getting your money's worth because the kids that learn, it could become a big part of their lives that they never forget. Like, I never picture myself doing that, but it just kind of happened, like my adrenaline took over. and. I had the strength to get through it. So if I can, others definitely can. If you see an adult suddenly collapse, it's important to act fast. Just use hands-only CPR. The first step is to send someone to call 911 or call 911 yourself. Then get directly over the victim. Put the heel of one hand in the center of the chest. 
then put your other hand on top of the first. Then push hard and fast in the center of the chest until help arrives. It's important to push at a rate of 100 beats per minute, which is approximately this tempo. Let's hope you never have to use hands-only CPR. But if you see an adult suddenly collapse, don't be afraid to try it. All you need to remember is to call 911, then push hard and fast in the center of the chest until help arrives. Your actions can help save a life. Hands-only CPR should only be used when you see an adult who has suddenly collapsed and is unresponsive. To learn more, call 877-AHA-4CPR or visit handsonlycpr.org today. It's definitely a romantic comedy. Wait, what is my wig? No, uh, uh, you're drinking. Uh, shirt man. Oh, the heart attack heart sequel. Heart 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 falling down. Ever happen to you? Harmless game of charades based on film titles turning into a sudden cardiac event? Bam! Shaklaki! No? What? You think you're better than me? Well, it happens, all right? It's a real life situation! I got my daughters here. Call 911. Push hard and fast, okay? Focus! And yes, the beat of staying alive really works. Shama! Disco can save lives. Yes, disco, huh? Check it out. What do you think? What? Dance Pate! the one we've been waiting for. And the award for best public service announcement goes to Friends for Fire Ants. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you so much. Um, Friends for Fire Ants is, is such an amazing cause. Uh, fire ants are this country's most underserved and misunderstood insect. Few people know that when fire ants are I'm born- I'm sorry, they... I'm sorry. I cannot believe this. There has been a huge mix-up. The actual award and winner for the best public service announcement goes to the American Heart Association for their PSA, Hands Only CPR. Let's take a look. That's not the move. Oh, he's in cardiac arrest. Not on my watch. You, call 911. I'll start hands-only CPR until help arrives. I'll push hard and fast in the center of the chest, 100 to 120 compressions per minute. EMS is on its way. Stay with me, you beautiful man. Stay with me. To accept the award for best PSA, Wendy McClendon Covey. Yes! What an honor. Oh, so many people to thank. Um, <laughs> my co-star, my confidant, who showed so much elegance as a dancer and so much courage laying there, upstaging me with his uh, arresting performance. <laughs> okay, well, but what I really want you to know is how and when to perform hands-only CPR. And I would just like to thank Wendy for saving my life. <laughs> oh, fine. If you see a teen or adult suddenly collapse, the first step is to phone 911 immediately. Then push hard and fast in the center of the chest, 100 to 120 compressions per minute. And don't stop until help arrives. 
Are we gonna show the rest of my award-winning performance, huh? <laughs> People want to see it. Everyone should know how to do hands-only CPR. If you see a teen or adult suddenly collapse, all you need are, are two simple steps. Call 911 and push hard and fast in the center of the chest until help arrives. Just push to the beat of the classic song, Stayin' Alive. It really works. You didn't let me finish. I really do know this stuff. If it wasn't for disco, I'd be dead. <laughs> stayin' alive, stayin' alive. Oh, oh, oh. 